So we moved a little bit further east along the outcrop, but we're still at this expansive outcrop at Midway. And what I wanted to show you is this rock here. And this is an igneous intrusion as well, because <clears throat> we see beautiful interlocking grains and no layering that would suggest that it's uh, sedimentary or metamorphic. You can see that we're outside of the tonalite now, back into the metamorphic uh, quartzite and schist typical of the area. And so that's this black rock here. You will notice that if you look up to the left, you can see the white granite-like rock that we were just looking at. Now, we talked about in the mouth of the Big Thompson Canyon that we characterize igneous rocks by the shape of the uh, intrusion and its relationship to country rock. If you'll notice, the foliation or the layering in the country rock that's the schist and quartzite is oriented like this. And if you look at this igneous intrusion, you can see that it's cutting across it. And so sheet-like or laterally extensive uh, intrusions that are narrow and sheet-like are called dikes when they cut across the layering in the surrounding country rock. If the surrounding country rock doesn't have any layering, we use the term dike as well. And that would be the case at the top of the outcrop where this rock crosses the granite rock that we were just looking at. Now, this is a very interesting igneous rock. It's a granite as well similar to the white rock, although we can see that it's somewhat pinkish in color. And that owes to the fact that we have pink potassium feldspar here. We also see big quartz as well. And there's lots of muscovite in here and some biotite additionally. What's really interesting about the rock is its very large grain size and that we can get feldspars that are 10 centimeters or more in size. When grain size in igneous rock gets to be that large, we use the term pegmatitic as a descriptor for the grain size. So pegmatitic or peg apegmatite is a descriptor term and doesn't indicate the composition or the minerals present in that igneous rock. With lots of quartz and feldspar, tells us it's a felsic composition and hence the term granitic. So this is a granite pegmatite dike cutting across the quartzite and schist of the country rock on either side, including the white granite rock that we've looked at already.